Oh my goodness, they're so small. Um, a tooth just fall off? Like what the fuck? I cannot explain this. I've had many surgeries before, but this is nothing like I've ever seen so far. Like even the chin hurts, what the fuck? Apparently I'm stuck on a liquid diet for basically like three days. So here's to eating yogurt every single lunch and dinner. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a little intro before we get into the actual vlog and everything you need to know if you're planning on getting your teeth done. But as you can see, I got my veneers and crowns in Antalya with Dental Center Turkey. So finally, I got a bag and fixed my teeth and I hope you hoes know I ain't cheap. <laughs> Anyways, as you can see, I got 20. Emax laminate veneers and crowns in the shade BL2 and this video is gonna be specifically super helpful for any one of you who wants to get veneers or crowns done because I will take you through the whole entire process from filing my teeth which was horrendous to the consultation deciding the shade and deciding the shape which is very important I will tell you the price as well as telling you things that I wish I knew before I got my teeth done and some tips and tricks on how to get the perfect smile that you want that actually resonates and doesn't look too fake with your face. So if you're interested, keep on watching. As you can see, the view in Antalya was stunning. Look at that sea, all those trees. It was so hot. It was basically summer. This is the Dental Center Turkey Clinic. As you can see, it is so modern, luxurious, and clean. A lot more fancier than other dentists in the UK. So we're gonna see if we can make laminate veneers for the lower jaw. For the laminates, uh, teeth needs to be straight. Yeah. Uh, we don't, um, we cannot change the position of the tooth or if there's a gum recession, we can't cut Cover that area with laminate veneers. All of them are straight in your mouth, and if there's no gum recession or a lot of discoloration kind of things, then we can do all of them laminate. As that lady said, you can only really get veneers if your teeth are already pretty straight. Thankfully, I had braces when I was younger, so I was suitable for them. But even then, they, we had to fix my bite because it wasn't perfect. So in the end, I had to get eight crowns, six down here and two up here. Otherwise, they would clash. So not everyone is suitable for veneers. Just know that if your teeth are crooked, if you have a gum recision, if your bite isn't perfect, you will have to get crowned. Again, look at how clean and modern the dentist room is. The okay. Preparation for the crown and preparation for the laminate veneer. So yeah, as you can see, the preparation for the crowns involves a lot more shaving compared to veneers. They literally shave your teeth down to little baby shark teeth like pegs. And you know what? Yes, my teeth will probably fall out when I'm 50 years old and I will have to get implants. But hey, leave me alone. At least I have beautiful teeth now. I'm aware. Thank you. Well, I don't really see myself as working. I think ideally for me, a best fit would to be like a top of the line trophy wife. No, but jokes aside, if you do take care of your crown, they could actually last a really, really long time. We're talking about decades, like even 20 years. So again, with veneers, more of the natural tooth structure is kept, so they are stronger and there's less chance of your teeth maybe falling out and needing an implant in the future. However, one of the downsides of veneers is that they actually chip a lot easier and they could actually detach from your tooth a lot easier compared to crowns. So that's why I actually decided to go for crowns, at least on the biting and the inside teeth right here and crowns as I said on the other hand yes there is more shaving involved but they are a lot stronger because they actually cover the entire tooth so there's less chance of chipping less chance of them falling off so as you can see once you tell them what shades you're more interested in they will lay them down for you these are the trays showing you the colors so I picked BL1 and BL2 I was indecisive between the two but as you can see BL1 was very bright so I ended up with BL2 yes so the color of your teeth is actually very important along with the shape it can actually make or break a smile. Dental Center Turkey actually offers an array of shades. There's actually DCT White, which is their newer shade, and it's actually the whitest shade ever. I mean, it's a little bit fucking crazy if you ask me. <laughs> like, it looks like a toilet seat white, which is not exactly the look that I'm going for. And no matter how you try to shape it or do with it, DCT White can never look like a natural tooth shade. The shade under that is gonna be BL1, so this is the Hollywood Smile Colors. Again, that is very, very white. I have BL2 so BL1 is gonna be brighter than this. Again, BL1 can't really be made natural looking, not even if you choose a very natural tooth shape. And actually, one of my friends who I met on this journey with me, Mia, she actually got BL1. They looked gorgeous on her, but that's also because you have to keep in mind and take into consideration your complexion. If you're blonde with blue eyes like she was, then of course, you can allow yourself to go with a little wider. But if you're more Mediterranean looking or if you're even darker like a POC, then really you can't 
really go with a BL1 and make it look natural. The shades under BL1 are going to be BL2 and also BL3. There's quite little difference between BL2 and BL3, to be honest. And I want to say, keep in mind, BL2 and BL3 will actually change color after you get them done. So maybe a month later, they will go down half a shade and look a little more natural looking. I mean, it also depends on what lighting I'm in. So in this studio lighting that I'm at, it looks very white. But if I go to my bathroom, which has more like a no yellowish tint, it's going to look more yellowy. Anyways, if you're trying to go for a natural look, I want to give you a tip on how to understand which is going to be the best shade for you. This is actually backed by research and studies. So what you want to do is take the tooth and actually compare it to the white of your eyes, also known as the sclera. So this is BL2. You do not want to go brighter than that one, otherwise it will look unnatural. And this is BL1. This is very bright. So yeah, this was all on day one, guys. Like after the first consultation that you get where you tell them what color you want, there's no going back. You cannot change it. So please make sure that you know exactly what color you want because if you're like me and you're very indecisive, then you're gonna have a mental breakdown, which you will see later on. The, just just wait, you will see it later. The, the, the mental breakdown happening. Um, But apart from that, so what I also recommend you do is in the consultation, make sure that you have pictures ready to choose the shape of the teeth that you want. So I came prepared. I had two types of pictures, both ones that were from Dental Center Turkey, the actual clinic and their Instagram of teeth styles and shapes that I liked, like for example, this one. But also I brought a specific picture of a specific shape of teeth that I wanted. I literally told them, you need to copy and paste this onto my mouth, okay? If it's not like this, I will not like it. Copy and paste that shape onto me, period. Okay, so I'm at the hotel. This is the hotel. The view is gorgeous. It's right by and see and look at the view bitch look at how gorgeous Oh my god. That hotel that you just saw was actually included in the package deal that Dental Center Turkey offers you. So you can actually book a few hotels from them and they can give you a discount on them. There's actually Accra Hotel, which is gorgeous. But I actually went with Falcon because I knew the owner, so I just went there. Okay guys, so they're taking me to the clinic to file my teeth today. It is happening, it is six o'clock, literally on the second day that I came here. Look how bougie this car is. And I'm looking homeless as always. Is there ever gonna be a day where I look decent? and presentable? No, that ain't never gonna happen. Not in a million years. Yeah, as you can see, there was also free transfer offered in the package deal. Okay, guys, so we're filing my teeth now. It is happening. And now's the time. Say goodbye to my teeth because they're gone, bitch. No more yellow teeth. So I'm drooling because I have no control. And look at my teeth. Oh my goodness. They're so small. Oh my goodness. <gasps> what have I done? That is so scary. Uh, la, la, la. Oh my god. I cannot breathe, I cannot speak, and I cannot eat. I am numb all over the face. Numb, numb, yes, numb. Like, I cannot explain this. I've had many surgeries before, right? I've also had filler all over my face without any numbing, but this is nothing like I've ever seen so far. Like even the chin heart, what the fuck? Okay girl, let me tell you, you are not gonna be ready for this kind of pain. Like I had to sit there with my mouth open for five hours, like it was sore. Almost as if you were for an hour straight. That kind of soreness and pain. Okay, let's move on. But they basically are gonna give you injections to numb the pain in your mouth. And it's not like for your four, 30. Not even kidding. But apart from that, like, only the first 30 minutes are really uncomfortable. After that, you get used to it. And again, the pain, it was only present during the first night of the actual shaving of the teeth. So that's when I took a painkiller. But apart from that, the rest of the trip, no more painkillers. Right, guys, I'm trying to have my lunch after they saw my teeth yesterday. The pain wasn't that bad tonight, but I was just overthinking because I got crowns here instead of veneers. I was not planning for that. But we're hustling through. Anyways, um, a tooth just fell off. Like, what the fuck? It's this one right here. I don't know if you can see that. Chow, you better be eating something, like, very soft. Taking it very slowly. You don't want to chew that much. It doesn't hurt as much as I thought it would, but, like, 
it's more of an emotional, tiring process rather than physically, right? Apparently, I'm stuck on a liquid diet for basically like three days. So here's to eating yogurt every single lunch and dinner. <laughs> so yeah, after they grind down your teeth to dust, they will basically just pop on some temps on, which are gonna be the same shape of your old teeth. They're just gonna be a lot more wider looking, like extremely white, even whiter than this, which is actually a good thing because it, it's gonna be shocking initially, but you slowly can start to get used to the new shade that you're gonna have in a few days. So it's not gonna be as much of a shock. The only problem with these teeth is that they are literally made of plastic. They are so soft. You can only basically eat very, very soft foods. I mean, I was eating noodles and it still popped off, like it came off. So you're basically stuck to having a liquid diet for four days. So by the end of a trip, not only are you gonna have a beautiful, gorgeous smile, but you're also gonna be super skinny, ready for the summer body. I mean, what more do you want? This is the original ones. Yes. So we didn't have a lot of crooked things going on, but this midline angle was really bothering you in here, as mm -hmm. you can see. And this dude had this, like, it was quite shorter if you compare it with this side. Yeah. They need to be symmetrical, like this, the centrals, the laterals, the right. and it needs to go like that. This is how the new ones will look like. This one is not going to go like this, and midline will be straight. We don't have this angle on the midline. That's mm. why we made them crown, actually, at the first okay. place. Okay. Yeah, like a little bit more... How about this? Yes. Are these, this and this the same height? Yes, this is your lower jaw now. What we are doing on lower jaw is they're already straight. Just we are making the front four more equal. We mm -hmm. are giving a natural, not so pointy. Just we are taking the longest point of it and making it straight from mm -hmm. there. She's asking, right now you have fillers here on, the, on your lips. If fillers, yes. Uh, are you gonna keep them? I think I'm gonna dissolve them. If you want this thickness on your lips, we can make a bit longer teeth with the same design. Mm. If you are gonna go for thinner lips, then it's gonna be just suitable. So yeah. Yeah, as you can see from the presentation, you can literally do whatever the F you want with your teeth. They give you full control, so that's an amazing thing. An issue that was really bothering me was my dental midline, which wasn't straight. That's basically an imaginative line that runs through the middle of your front two incisors, teeth right here. And basically, that dental midline has to align perfectly with your facial midline. That basically, again, another imaginative line that runs through the center of your forehead to the center of your nose, the center of your mouth, and the dental midline. And basically, that's going to give you symmetry. If these two lines don't align, smile is gonna be slanted, which that's what I had to one side. It will really just look off. So that's my first tip for you guys into having the perfect smile. Another tip I want to give you is the ratio between the width and the length of the tooth. You don't want teeth that are too wide compared to the length because otherwise they're just gonna look like buck teeth and huge. You also don't want very thin teeth but super long because they're just gonna look off. So the ideal ratio should be 80% length and 70% width. Last Lastly, it's also very important that you take into consideration how your smile and teeth look like when you're smiling. <laughs> so again, ideally when smiling, your upper lip should actually follow and trace the gum line of your teeth without showing any gum or actually covering it up to 70% of tooth show. What they can do at Dental Central Turkey is actually make your teeth appear longer so that you can have more tooth show and that's going to be more attractive. If instead you have the opposite problem when you can actually see the gums when you you smile, that's a gummy smile. What you can do is actually pop a little bit of Botox right here. Very easy, very effective, and very affordable. And that's basically gonna prevent your upper lip from moving that much. You are so welcome. As far as lower teeth show when smiling, your lower lip should actually trace exactly your teeth. There should be no show of lower teeth. So if in case you have extremely long lower teeth, what you could ask is to shave them down and make them a little bit less long. Or you could get lip filler to cover it and also chin filler is gonna help give you support right here. So it's gonna push the lip up and prevent you from moving that much. As far as general tooth shape and harmony with your other teeth, there are a few smiles from which you can choose from. Like there's a trend called the vampire smile. So that's basically getting your canines elongated and longer. That's gonna be called a canine prevalent or dominant smile. Another type of smile which could also look very youthful is if it's an incisor prominent smile. So that's gonna be these two teeth looking a little bit longer. They could also look like a teeth though so just pay attention it's a very fine line and lastly the smile that I prefer is the one where nothing is prominent so they are all straight on the same level and finally the last thing that you should take into consideration is buccal corridors which are basically two black gaps that you have in the corners of your mouth when you're smiling to an extent some buccal corridor is actually deemed attractive some people find the light look attractive and others don't I personally do a lot generally
generally it's more attractive if there's no show at all. So what you could ask is actually to get your back teeth right here if you're getting them a little bit more wider and more outward going so they could actually fill the buccal corridor space. Guys, I am having a mental breakdown. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a perfectionist and I want everything perfect. But the thing is, I also don't know what I want. I'm always indecisive. So up till now, I thought I wanted BL2, but now I'm rethinking it and I think I want BL3. Some pictures I prefer them wider, other pictures I prefer them more like natural looking. So I contacted the clinic, but they said that I have to pay 3000 more to get them redone. So that ain't happening. So we're sticking with BL2. I just wanted to document this to let you know, please be sure 100% of what color you want because you ain't never gonna know. Not me sitting in the sun with the sea view of Antalya and eating food in the sun. Oh, wow. I, I, I am so brave. Wow. Right. I am very shocked. <laughs> so yeah, guys, keep in mind, this is basically a holiday that you're getting because it's not major surgery. It's literally only your teeth. So you can bring any kinds of clothing you want. You can tan, go to the beach. You can explore the city of Antalya, which is gorgeous, by the way. Oh my God, these are my teeth, guys. <gasps> They're so white and also so straight. We love them. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. What do you think? Are they good? Are they good? Let me know. I am not okay, guys. So basically, we started at 1.30 p.m. It is now 6. So that means I've been there for like, what? Five fucking hours. But at least I have my teeth now. These are the teeth. I love them. They are so natural in color, I think. But I'm literally so swollen, like I can barely see. But unfortunately, again, bad news. They will have to numb your mouth again. So that means another 30 injections for you right there. First of all, they have to polish the veneers. They have to fit them, see how your bite is. On top of that, when they fit your teeth in your mouth, you actually have to decide if you like them or not. So I had a few adjustments that I would have made and they totally allow you for that, like it's expected, so don't worry. So what I said was they look a little bit too squarish for me, so I asked them to round them out a little bit on the sides, as well as my canines were a little bit too long, so I shortened them a little, and I had to wait one hour for that reason, because they have labs downstairs, so you don't have to wait that long at all. Okay, guys, so it's my last day here in Antalya. We're going one final time to the clinic for a checkup. They gave me a day to just think about it, if there was something that I wanted to change, so I don't like this tooth. As you can see, it's sticking out more than the other canine. So I just want to shave it a tiniest amount. So yeah, generally I advise you to stay at least one more day after they do the fitting of your teeth because you just want to live your life with the teeth in them. And just to, you know, dab a little, see how you can chew, see how they feel in your mouth, maybe look at yourself in the mirror. As you can see, like, they're totally perfect now. Um, girl, this is, was so professional. Love them so much. The clinic is just so clean and fancy. Nothing like the clinics in the UK. Re totally recommend it. I love it. Now I know, I know, I know. One thing that you might be wondering is, Mateo, this is all fun and nice, but you still haven't told me how much you pay. What is the price? I need to know. Other surgery videos that I make, I usually say the price right away because it's standard, but with teeth, it fluctuates a lot. So I personally paid a 4,700 pounds, but that's because I got 20 Emacs crowns and veneers. There's not a price difference between the two, but what makes a difference in the price is, first of all, the amount of teeth you're getting, of course, and also the material that you choose. Also, just a little tip, make sure you have a little extra cash saved up because you never know what might happen. Like pills and all the medicine is extra. That was only like 50 quid, but still. And on top of that, you never know if you might have to change your dental plan right then, right there. So I was supposed to pay 4,200, but then we had to switch things around. We actually had to fix my bite a little bit. So we had to bump it up to 4,700 and I was an extra 500 quid. As far as recovery goes, it's a breeze. Like, honestly, this couldn't even be considered surgery. There's only gonna be a little bit of sensitivity the first two months that you're gonna get your teeth in. Like, you're just gonna feel a little bit sensitive, maybe if you eat something too hot or too cold. But, like, sometimes when I bite on peas or, like, a specific kind of meat, I feel like they're a little bit weak. But apart from that, it's no pain at all. As far as Africa goes, again, it's actually quite easy and straightforward, but there are a few things that you should change in your dental hygiene routine. First of all, it's 
it's gonna be the toothbrush. If you have a hard bristle toothbrush, ditch it. You want soft ones so to not irritate your gum line, as well as not rub and remove the coating in the veneers. You also wanna make sure to brush your teeth after every meal if you aren't doing that already. And of course, also flossing. You can either use the manual one or a water pick. Depending on which dentist you go to, they're either gonna recommend you a water pick or a manual floss, but both are just gonna be okay and fine. Since I prefer the manual floss, I also have bought interdental brushes and you can just floss them in between the teeth to make sure that you remove everything between the teeth, which is very important. Again, especially if you have crowns, any sort of whitening solution like at home whitening kits, whitening toothpaste, dental whitening strips, they're not gonna work anymore on your teeth because veneers, they don't work like natural teeth. They cannot be whitened. So make sure you ditch that whitening toothpaste, not only because you're not gonna need it, but it also is because it's abrasive. It contains baking soda in it and other ingredients which could damage the actual structure of the veneer. So don't brush your teeth with baking soda either. And if you are using a mouthwash, make sure that it doesn't contain alcohol in it because again, it could damage the veneer. You can buy any kind of like sensitive gums toothpaste or also I specifically bought a toothpaste designed for veneers. It's called Venerin and it was 12 pounds, like quite expensive. And actually that toothpaste is very good because it contains fluoride in it and fluoride can actually remove the superficial stains in your teeth and also maintain the health of your teeth underneath the veneer or the crown. So overall, I really like fluoride. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is food restrictions because yes, there are some. If you want to prolong the lifespan of your veneers and crowns as much as you can, you have to stop eating some foods. Those are gonna be very hard ones. So like for example, nuts, almonds. Don't try to recreate any toothpaste or toothbrushes commercials by biting on apples because that is gonna make your veneers pop off. Don't bite on carrots with your front teeth. Don't be a horse, okay? Just because we have horse teeth now, we don't have to be horses. No meat on the bone, no very hard chocolate bars. Basically just pay attention and be as gentle as you can with your teeth. On top of that, if you're concerned about drinking coffee or drinking tea or Coke or eating ketchup and ever staining ingredients, in theory, you can eat those, yes, and it won't stain your teeth because veneers actually have a protective layer to prevent them from getting stained. However, in the long run, veneers can get discolored and they can build up superficial stains. So I would still stay away from them as much as I can. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful or you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to get your teeth done. How many are you thinking of getting? What shade? I want to know everything. And of course, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future uploads because I'm gonna keep you up updated on the teeth if something happens as well as well as well as this being a beauty and skincare channel so if you're interested about getting your skincare routine down to the teeth make sure to join the random family because we would love to have you here Mwah. you can also follow me on my instagram and on my tiktok but from a random because there's a lot more content that you won't see here that you are going to see over there but excuse me ma'am what do you think you're doing you're not to click out of this video what you need to do right now is click one of these two videos right here just as informative informational whatever it is that is you but why do that remember to random and always be random